Hi. Right, okay, we're going to start part two. Now, uh, I've got my auger here. Uh, now, augers on the eBay, no, eBay, Amazon, I'll get it right at some point, uh, come with a bushing. However, you might want to make a bushing that fits your tube a little bit better. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, so I've made a, a bushing and we're going to be cutting this tube. So, to start with, we're going to have the tube about, we get the bushing flush with the end. Now bearing in mind this, this because it's pushing pellets that way, is going to be pushing back against the bearing. So, we have it there. Now, we don't want this bit to be protruding into our burn chamber. So, uh, you measure very, very carefully about that much. Uh, and when you've got that, you know that is the perfect amount, and then you throw everything with wild band into the ground. Um, and what we do is we need to mark this all the way around the tube because we're going to be cutting it. And you should always. And what I do is I hold metal in place and I just twist the metal round nice and slowly and evenly and we get a nice round mark. Now uh, whenever I do grinding I wear my little hat because it stops the whole of uh, rubbish getting into my non-existent hair. I wear this because when I'm grinding uh, what happens is it tends to melt my cheap clothes um, and sometimes they catch fire which is not really what you want you don't really want your clothes on fire and then I wear my shitty old face shield and then we're going to cut this tube with this very noisy angle grinder and I rest it on here Okay, so we've done that, and I always try and deburr things as I go. Okay, now I've deburred that, I know that it's not going to actually cut into my hand if I go and pick this up to use it for another project. And this one won't cut my hand when I'm doing this current project. So, we've got our auger, we've got our bush, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting in a grub screw, well I'm just going to use a couple of shitty whatever I've got in there. So what you want to do is pull that out, grab this and measure exactly in the middle like that uh, and then what we're going to do is mark where we're going to drill the hole and I suggest you do, you've got to get it bang on, like that, <laughs> right, and if you've got plenty of time you can always do three. So now they're exactly, you know, correctly triangulised those three holes, we know we're ready to rock. And always put the lid back on your top of your pen because it will dry out. So I'm going to drill these holes. I don't need to show you how to drill holes because I'll be showing you how to suck eggs and I'm sure you don't want that. Okay now we've drilled and tapped these holes. Right, That is not the end of it. What we have to do is these short 
bolts we have to put into our cordless drill, tighten them up, make sure they're nice and centered, not like that one, but that'll do. And then you switch this on. And if you don't have it nice and centered, you'll get the whole thing off centered and it looks absolutely shit. Well, that doesn't too bad, I don't know why that's going so badly. Right, that's good. And you'll find as you're doing that, you'll drop everything and you'll go, oh bollocks, wish I didn't do all this work on gravel. Right, okay, boom boom. So now we've got a significantly shorter bolt, Allen bolt, but that will go nicely in. So do the other three like that and we'll be well away.